You're watching Carrie TV. Hello, I'm Harold Weinbreck, Mayor of Cary. And I'm Ken George, District D Representative on the Cary Town Council. And this is Cary Matters. We created this program to help keep you informed about issues that council members are working on for our community. That's right, Ken. And you know, Cary has been in the news a bit lately. We recently were named one of 35 champion cities in the Bloomberg Mayor's Challenge. That means we received $100,000 to implement our idea and plan to address the increasing opioid problem that is happening all across the country and, yes, even in Cary. That's right. In 2016, 64,000 Americans died from the opioid-related overdoses. I believe many people would be surprised to learn that we have a problem with opioids here in Cary. Last year, we saw a 40% increase in fatal overdoses, and that rate continues to rise. The grant from the Bloomberg Mayor's Challenge gives us an opportunity to take on this problem, work on crafting a bold solution, and to be able to learn from global experts. That's right. The opioid epidemic is a problem we have been working on in a number of ways. Today, all of our patrol officers carry Narcan which has been used to prevent overdose deaths of our friends and family members. But we believe more can be done. So we set out on this initiative to basically go underground and test our wastewater. By doing this, we will be able to see opioid use across the town, be able to measure and baseline it, and then measure it over time to see any trends that might occur. As a result, this technology can be used to evaluate successes and failures of future initiatives. The collection will be in groups of 10,000 to 15,000 people, so no individual or house will be identified in these collections. Yes, and the system is quite technical. Cary Engineering will work with the company BioBot Analytics to install sampling devices or robots within our sewer system. Ten sampling locations will be selected by a team of public health officials, scientists, and utility managers over the summer. These devices will be developed and collections will occur and the water analyzed by BioBot Analytics. The resulting data will be provided to local public health officials. Ken, you mentioned earlier that 64,000 people had died in 2016. Not 2017, but 2016. And that's because 2017 data isn't available yet. And that's a problem mm -hmm. that complicates solutions to the opioid epidemic. The data is always six months old to a year old. And by using our new system, we'll be able to transform how the public health officials can look at it and react to data. Our goal is to provide real-time data with data analytics and data modeling so that our health officials can better address this issue and also measure the effectiveness of their program. Right. We should point out that this isn't about going after anyone that uses opioids at all. It's about creating a stronger, healthier community, which is an extension of what we already do. Exactly. Today, we are counting the overdoses of our friends, neighbors, and family members. Our hope is to be able to share the near real-time wastewater monitoring counts so that effective programs can be deployed and tailored to address those most at risk. And as an added benefit, just by working on this program, we have increased the awareness of the opioid problem. I'm hopeful that this work will also encourage additional discussions among families and friends to both remove the stigma of addiction and help families to find a path to recovery. And that's truly important work and a new and innovative way for us to help our citizens. We are absolutely committed to not only finding new solutions to this pressing health problem, but also increasing the public's understanding of opioid misuse 
and getting the conversation started. Well, that's it for this edition of Carry Matters. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for listening. Thanks for watching Carry Matters. And as always, thanks for choosing to call Carry home. You're watching Carrie TV.